Want this? First effect, change color. Prepare your clips first. I've separated the character and background basically. I just rotoed the character. Search for the effect change to color and apply it to the character layer. In the effect settings, click on the first color picker, choose the color you want to change. Click on the second color picker, choose the color you wanted to change into. Basically, the first color selects what you're changing, and the second one is the color you're changing it to. Do the same for the second clip, select the character layer, and apply the same effect. Pick your color, play around with the settings until it looks the way you want. Now, the second effect, wipe transition. Select the layer, search for S, dissolve speckle. Add a keyframe for dissolve percent. Then go around 50 to 60 frames, change it to 100. If you play it now, it won't look good, so select the dissolve one and drag it on top. Now, it's perfect. You can play with settings if you want, but for this clip, it's already looking good. Third effect is this morph effect. I just prepared my clips, separated the character and background. Then, I added some Spider-Man comic images. Each image is around 8 frames long. Now, select all your image layers and pre-compose them. Then select the pre-comp layer and apply pixel motion blur. Pre-comp that layer again and apply the same effect. Do this process at least 8 to 10 times. The more times you do it, the stronger the morph effect you'll get. You can try this on text too. All the effects that I show in this video, you can use them in different ways. It's all up to your creativity. I just give you the idea and show you how you can use it. We're close to 300k subs, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And drop a like if this video helped you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.